austingallery.com and muddypaw.net, which is our clothing line that we have this off from davidaustingallery.com. And we have my lovely, beautiful wife and partner, Kristen. Nice There's our hand over there. And then we're filmed live in front of an audience today. There's a person in the Jessica. studio. There's a human. <laughs> Hi. There you go. <laughs> Who is an, an actress and uh, heavily involved in the arts and theater. So it's kind of nice to have her. She's a good friend of ours. Welcome and the chaos. Thank you. And thank you to your son for watching Hugo today. <laughs> this is why we're here without the chaos that is the, the kiddo. So today, what am I doing? Today? I don't know what we're going to do today. We're going to have some fun, though. We always have some fun. And I went to the hardware store and I saw some crazy wacky stuff. This is a brush that I found there and I have no idea what it's for. Do you have any idea what it's for? No. That viewers from it, says, it says three knot roof brush. Please Anybody? Please Anybody? Please <laughs> and then we have, of course, my handy dandy toy. This is my go-to piece. This is in uh, one of Hugo's little sandbox toy kit things. And then this crazy wacky thing here, which is a soap dispenser, scrubby soap dispenser. So we're going to work with that a little bit today and see how that goes. Um, I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do that yet, but we're going to try something with this very soon. So today is we're going to lay out some on this four by four, 48 inch by 48 inch piece of plywood. It's actually what they call it locally is monkey board. I, I don't know why. We don't know why. We still don't know why. Even, not, the, even the wholesaler, as I was there with, with the lumber guy, Kristen, oh, yes. he was saying, the wholesaler was like, you mean you want? <laughs> no, monkey board. Okay. So this is a very thin, this is quarter inch roughly, and that's about how. So I'm going to start with some gestural things, and I'm probably dressed way too hot. Wallpaper paste is what the brush is Wallpaper for. paste. All right, that's guest number Whenever, one from Lisa some, Carpet. Someone gets a prize for that. And this is just simply, I'm just doing some gesture marks. You know this is how I like to start. They're right on. This board is not prepped. This is the raw the raw board because I like to see some of that grain texture showing up. And I, I was referencing, somebody asked me, do you use uh, uh, references on sketches? And things? And I do. I do. So I brought this out today, and I'm not going to follow it in the least. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get some of the acrylic. No, we can't. See, this is what I was talking about, Jessica. You just never know what's going to actually work. So we're going to get a little bit of this on here. Oh, I forgot I was going to use some stuff. Oh my gosh, thanks for the hearts, guys. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. Good to see everybody on this Saturday morning. I hope everybody had a great week. If not, I hope you have a better week. Oh, I forgot to grease my tripod again. That sounds really bad. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Maybe this is, remember, this is a family show. <laughs> family show, everybody. This is just water in here. What are you making, X Bumblebee? I don't know. <laughs> so we're just, uh, I'm going to do kind of a dance inspired piece today movement and spring. At least, at least in that's, that's in, the initial In idea. this hemisphere, this spring. Yeah. We've got our Australian friends today. Oh, yeah. Starting up. Coming out of, they're going into no way, they're, they're going into winter a little bit. So, just putting some water on there. And the reason I do that is because I like the strange shapes that it forms. You can already see it's uh, transpirational or whatever it's called. It's, it's <laughs> taking the paint away and being inspirational for me. Oh, the top. It is more chaotic today. We've had a, a busy, busy week, and um, we are just kind of adjusting to a big show coming up, doing a lot of work on things. Any other artists out there that's you doing a home show? Yeah, that's what I was getting at, right? It was a home show. Yeah. Trying to keep you on, on some sort of course today. Thanks, I really appreciate that. That's why you're here. Yeah, I know. And that's why we always do so much better when you're here, smearing that around. That's just some some charcoal. That's from DeWitt. Just using my hands here to give some gradients. We've got a question from you. Okay. Do you enjoy more big canvases or small canvases? You know, I yeah, that's a that's a tough question. I like the big, big surfaces because 
I can get lost in the environment of it. The little ones are smaller environment, but I like the little ones too because of the fact that you can you, you can work when you travel, like when, when you go in the yeah. RV and you travel. We get to use that, right? So I like it from that standpoint. Let's see if I can reach this one here. So all sizes, all mediums are valid to create with, and I like to use all of them. And what is our motto? Create without fear, hashtag everybody That's use it. Right. Use it and live it. Okay. This is a stretch. I should really stay in better shape. To people on over on TikTok that we've had come for a few weeks in a row. Welcome guys. It's nice to see you back. So I'm getting the whole body into the bowl. And I'm just creating a background color. Pushing the paint in. Using the whole body. So I have a nice straight line as I pull the color down. Oh, all over the place again. And then I'm just going to do a little bit up in here. That, and then I'm take that, move it over because that didn't work too well. And I'm just going to work that right down here. We'll save that for later at this corner of the, of the piece. I don't know what we'll do with that later. Got a lot of extra paint now. This is why you. I usually work in series, right? So there's a lot of different services around because I don't like to waste paint. I have extra paint on here now. So after we're done, we're going to do something with that. And this is a trowel. Again, I'm laying so the background for the piece. That's just fun. Forgot the rack too. Lip sweet, that's a good name. Somebody on there. Yeah, I like to see the handles. It's kind of fun. Nice of the jerky movement, guys. I put my Rembrandt pastels there that I'm going to use today. And and yes, not, that is a blatant uh, product plug. And those are not oil pastels, right? No, these are the chalk ones. All right. They're a little harder, and so I actually have a little bit of difficulty working them into something that's wet. Whereas some of the softer path, the charcoals and things go in a lot more easy. Eas easier, a lot more easy. <laughs> I warned you, Jessica, that this was a chaotic sort of a thing. Hey, Shakespeare made up his own word. He can do it too. Oh. <laughs> We've got one more question. Sure. Um, best advice for small workspace at home? Um, <laughs> plastic down on everything. <laughs> for starters. Yeah, go to, go get yourself some uh, cheap tablecloths. Um, I tell you what I really like is the. Um, hang on, I'm looking. Oh, I didn't. I didn't laugh. I knew there was something Kristen really forgot to do that I forgot to do, which was to get my gesso gesso out. Hey, anybody want to share our feed right now with people who might enjoy it? Please feel free to do so. Hey, uh, by the way, you were asking about things anywhere in your house works, but make it so you have it set up all the time, because otherwise it'll prevent you from from working. So you, having that ability to just walk in in the morning and the evening or wherever your creative time is, is really important. Convenience of it, okay? That's really a critical aspect to creating is the convenience. We talked about this at the you have to have a habit, right, of creating. You do it every day, you do the same kind of time, etc. And part of that, though, is having the convenience of the setup. So that's another thing you're asking about setting up at home, home place. And then the second part is that, or third part is, I really like those tablecloths, the plastic picnic tablecloths because you can put that down and they have a padding underneath and they work really well for, for catching the uh, debris and such. Does that cover a few things? I think so. If you want any more details, feel free to ask again, ask another question. I don't know what I'm doing here with this piece, but I'm having fun with it. So that's what we're doing today, is having fun. So this is a heavy body gesso. I'm expecting someone to ask that. Just working it right into the surface. Yep. 
she says that she, he said, yeah, that answered the question. Good. I'm glad. I would make assumptions based on like the little picture, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong, ever. Oh, I wish that were true. <laughs> Hi, Sean Baker over on TikTok. Welcome. Hi, TikTok people. So, moving the paint around, getting the gesso on there. And a lot of times I'll work at a different, many different surfaces because I, I've got to be able to let certain levels dry as we go. And it, it's hard to do that when, you, you know, when, you, when you're uh, doing a live show, I think. All right, I'm going to clean that up later. There's my favorite. Let's do this one here. It's a four or five inch palette knife. I'm just going to come over here and lay in a nice layer of gesso to be entertained with later. Using the edge even to create some structure. And let's get some of that excess, excess off. Leave that there for later. I'm sure I'll come back to that eventually. I'm get I'm getting to this one. You guys stay tuned. I think I'm gonna do something with that. Seeing as it's the title, I appreciate it. <laughs> come on, everybody knows that I go off book frequently in here. That's I think one of the appeals, isn't it? Isn't that an appeal? I don't know. Alright, so <laughs> The, this is back to the scrubby again, and I've already contaminated the yellow. I couldn't help myself, I guess. Uh, but I'm not sure what to put in it because it's going to have to be somewhat viscous. Not viscous, it's going to have to be somewhat fluid. And not too viscous because then it'll get clogged in this little plunger here. So I'm kind of thinking it's going to have to be. To all those just joining us, that is a dish scrubby. Scrubby dish. I don't even know. Do you know how to open these? Yes. Oh, wait, I got it. Okay. You would get there eventually. I did would. Why we call you Dizzy Silver? It is. I'll readily admit that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how it works. Okay. So I think we're gonna have to keep it pretty pretty thin. And I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna use some of the acrylic ink. This is from Amsterdam, the acrylic ink. There's other brands, but I love Amsterdam from at Royal Towns. North America. Should I use a light blue or a dark blue? Thank you, Angela. Oh, you changed your picture, Angela. Let's use a light blue. <laughs> Please just go, joint. <laughs> Please just go. That's a good name. That's a funny name. I like that. Kristen loves the extra name, all the names that everybody has. Okay, I have no idea if this is going to work anywhere near. I'm going to put that in there. Just a little rubber stopper and it has a push button on the top. We're gonna come back to that. Okay, next. What's next, Kristen? What's next? I feel like we need some blue on this or something, don't we? I don't know. What do you guys think, blue? You guys always wait too long. You just does something anyway. Yep, it's too late. Yep, no, it's green. Neon green. Waited too long, everybody. <laughs> Someone was asking me the other day if I use these sponge things, the disposable yeah. sponges, and I do, but not as much as maybe my mom did. She used quite a few. Uh, Lisa, we do get some for free, um, but we also buy a bunch of them. Yeah. Yes. We, we are, are really fortunate, but it's been a lot of hard work, lots and lots of hard work. Yeah, so Amsterdam is owned by Royal Talents, so Royal Talents does supply us. Which we're eternally grateful for. Okay, where's my other one? There it is. Utter chaos in the studio again. I know, but I can't use the word mayhem in another title. I've used it too many times. <laughs> too many. Too many mayhems going on in one place. Anybody's mixed media mayhem is actually one of our better videos. Is it? Yeah, just go back and watch it. Chaos is chaos is definitely I mean, like seven hundred of these, but it feels like it. I don't know how. Do you know how many videos we 
Yeah. I went on YouTube the other day and I was shocked at the number of videos we put up. It's in the hundreds. We've done this for two years. 18, almost two years. Almost two years. Right? And I guess I was doing a few before that. Not too much. Oh, loving it so far. And we're just going to keep building up these layers and I'll stall for a minute while I let it set up. Just well, bit. Lisa wants to know how yeah. do you go about getting sponsorship? Uh, work consistently in, um, and ask, ask questions. Feel free to ask and you'll get no a lot. It's just like, it's just like going out and, and auditioning, right? For, I mean, you're, that's what you're doing is you're auditioning. Yep. And so and how many, how many did you go? Do you think you went to auditions before you got your first gig? I mean, for every 20 auditions, maybe I'll get a call back. Then all those callbacks you might. A very low number. <laughs> <laughs> and then the best is when you book something and then they cancel the shoot. Oh! <laughs> that was just a couple weeks ago. Or you get fired <laughs> before they start. Before they even start your can. Even your thing. The client goes a different direction. So, uh, you know, the other way is it's like we've talked about finding galleries before, right? We've talked about yeah, that. Yeah, we have. And the problem with finding galleries is cold calling is just about impossible to get representation. That's why I've suggested so many times the co-ops. You know, get together with a bunch of friends kind of thing and start a little gallery. <laughs> <Where is it? laughs> this one's great, but I'm always great. This one usually works. I know, Lisa, if you're watching, I need to shake it up more. This is truncated time for uh, for the uh, performance. It's like when you're doing the kitchen, cooking show and, and they go in the uh, they put it in the oven and then they pull out right next to it. Here it is, our beautiful yeah. souffle. <laughs> Magically delicious. Well, it's not a 90s thing, but it is a reference to a film. I beat you to one. That's tricks. That's not a trick. That's cereal. I know. <laughs> but it's from that kind of. The, how, when did that come out? Tricks of your 80s. Yeah. Was it the 80s? I know because I wore an ironic tricks t-shirt in the 90s. An ironic. How do you have an ironic tricks? It's not like you're actually you promoting it? tricks. You're just like, I can wear tricks. <laughs> that was a Lucky Charms t-shirt. I know. I I thought it was cool. <laughs> you have the lot. You have the you have the monitor, right? No. Oh, it's it's done. The monitor. Right. Stay in. in where, where's yeah. the? Where's there. My, Stay where's there. my block? What's it called? My blocking is it? No. You're blocking. My yeah. blocking. No. Okay, I have to stay right. You have here. to ask how tight are you? <laughs> to the cameraman, because you need to know if it's like shoulders up, if you're whole, doing the whole body shot, and then you say when you're auditioning for commercial, you say how tight? How tight am I? There's still my own. Nice. Oh. I can't reach the other end. You press the talk button, yeah. And then stop. It, it says stop. <laughs> wow. What are you guys doing in there? I can see you on camera. <laughs> Hi. I can see the, the next response is going to be more time, mommy. Yeah. Okay. So I got to wipe off. Make sure you know what's really handy out of the, of the baby wipes. We use the unsided because you can clean as you go. And yeah, you waste some of these, but um, I don't know any other way to, to go about it. Keep those nozzles clean. Yeah, keep those nozzles clean. I'm gonna go and do the. What do I do with the paint? Oh, it's back here. I'm so excited. <laughs> Some blue in this time. I love this blue. This is a blue green, uh, green blue. Oh, greenish blue. I was so off on it. Amsterdam acrylics. What do I do with the ears? Did I answer any of those questions? Mm -hmm. Yes. I am getting so many calls and texts from the girls right now, and I can't answer a single one of them. Have your uh, secretary take care of it over there. Who's texting? Somebody can't come. And somebody, Jane just texted, and, but I can't 
You're yeah. just so popular. Oh, it's blowing up. Now I accidentally planned a party. <laughs> That'll teach you. <laughs> so I love the way that that just creates such a beautiful, strong color to it. It's just gorgeous. Put that on there later, too. Did anybody see the um, uh, Instagram post or the Facebook post, and that's why they're here today? That I put up earlier today? Just curious. <laughs> Market testing. Yeah, that's another way to get materials. I'm assuming that's what I'm referring to, right? No, I just said market testing because you just asked how they got here. Okay, here we go. Are you intentionally doing Ukrainian colors or is that just accidental? Oh, God, no, I wasn't intentionally doing that at all. <laughs> oh, hi, are. Jeffrey. Costa Rica. Oh, you must be so comfortable in warm. Try to buy green things. I'm jealous. So jealous. So just rubbing it down in there, getting the color to push it around. And we're going to be building, this one's going to be lasting a while. So um, sometimes we do the paintings in here and they happen like that. The way that I'm building today is building layers and layers up. And it'll take time for this painting to develop. But uh, I think that's okay. Everybody else okay with that? Because that's what I'm going to do. Oh, thank you, Alfredo. There we go. Love this color. I get stuck on a color once in a while. I bet you others do here too, don't you? Well, yeah, Shivana was talking about that last week. She was stuck on a palette. Hey, you guys, check out each other's artwork. Yes, please do that. If you see somebody, go go do a little internet look, look see. Never do it. You don't do it afterwards. Well, you're busy uploading everything onto the thing. Yeah, I get distracted. It's a really hard reach. Okay. I love Hi. what's happening here with the the little cells that are forming by spraying the acrylic spray from Marabou, the art spray, over the thinned out uh, tempera paints, it's created some nice cell and some nice structure. And as that dries, it'll kind of change. I like to say I love watching paint dry because it is, it's fascinating, it's utterly fascinating. That can be there. Should we see what this scratchy thing does now? The scratchy thing? Sure. Yeah. All right, we're gonna use the tool. Okay, so well, that's I good. I was just thinking you could take that off the rails today, and there it goes. Pump it out of there. So to pull it down, which is actually pretty awkward. That's interesting. Imagine I could do something. I don't know if I like it or not, but for this one, but that was pretty cool. I'm gonna guess I need to wipe this off a little so that it doesn't completely uh, become one massive I'll put it in a bucket of water. epoxy plastic. Bucket factors, though. That's why I pay her the big bucks. Oh yeah, swimming in it. Swimming in the big bucks. Well, that's kind of fun. So we've got some hard lines in there. We got some gestural things, almost like the movement, the dance thing. And I'm thinking I might do some craziness with white next. And this is a pan, a pan of gesso that I keep around. Always full and ready to go. I'm just going to slop some stuff on here. Slop. That's a technical term, everybody. Oh, no, but he covered up some of the stuff he did all right. It's okay, everybody. It's about layers. Uh, some say he's wackier than usual today. Okay, so that's fun. That gives us a, a different color variation. And now I can work into that if I want, um, and which I probably will. I'll probably do some graffito or some scratching through there. And I might use it with uh, this round one over here and just do some 
kind of like a, a pseudo language, made up language, because as Jessica pointed out, I like to make up my languages. She's, she's like, I wasn't planning on being involved. <laughs> Here I am, forced. At least I'm not doing what I originally wanted to do, which is just bring you up here and you paint next to me. Yeah, not, no, I can't even draw a stick person. That would be the point. <laughs> that would be the point. Any, anybody time. can paint. Create without fear. Just do it. Just start and do something. And so we have an upcoming series that we're going to try to do uh, where we are going to invite regional artists in to paint with me. Um, maybe once or twice a month. And that's so it's super exciting. That should be happening in the near future. So stay tuned for that. And if you're a regional artist, uh, send us a direct message and we'll talk to you and see if you want to. So we're in the Duluth, Minnesota region. Yep. And it's a four four county region, I guess. What's Arrowhead covered? Whatever Arrowhead covers. All the way up to Grand Portage, all the way west to Mille Lacs, all the way down to Fond du Lac. All right, there yeah. we go. That's our answer. So there we go. Thank you for the heart. Okay. Oh, I got pain. In it's a good thing I'm wearing my studio camouflage today. So this is a, a again a this is re, they call it reflex orange, and it's like a neon orange uh, acrylic ink. And these things are just they're just it's fabulous. So I'm just going to pour it right on there today, and then I'll manipulate it, move it around a little bit with a palette. Look how bright that is. It's like the sun, the sun's coming out. See it through the paint over there? Look at it, it's just shining. Finally. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, God, it's just beautiful. That, that ink goes so far, Kristen. And I'm surprised because you go through a lot of product. The inks get on the vibes often. But you use them all the time. Yeah, I do, um, and I really, really enjoy. That's just going to be beautiful as it's kind of drying and setting up with uh, with the piece. So carrying that color across, so creating some pattern, some some sort of structure with the piece using the color and the shapes as I go. And again, this is a longer term piece than I'm used to doing, and this will take time. So you guys stay tuned and come back. Keep an eye on the Instagram, TikTok, YouTube accounts. Facebook if you're Anybody there. have any questions before we sign off here in a few minutes? Are we? We're already there? Oh, no, no. We probably got 20 minutes left. But, but by you saying that, everybody just left. The, the counter just went down to zero. No, it just went up. <laughs> oh, Thank fine. You. Anyway, yeah. If you do have questions, please feel free. I'm going to have some more um, tea today. Tea smells really good. This is that new stuff we got, right? Yeah, made in Minnesota, strangely. It's like the best. Oh, look at the way that paint's moving in there. That's so fun. So by, kind of, by kind of combining, combining softer areas where, where the paint's kind of morphing together and creating uh, bioorganic sort of biomorphic shapes, it creates a softness. That combined with the harder edges that I'm starting to create. And when I go back in and I add the acrylic markers later, that creates more hard edges. And that'll create help create that, that depth. It'll start making some appearance of depth with the piece. And that's one of the things that I really enjoy doing. <laughs> oh, they're fine. That's, a, that's adorable out there. You can hear the two. We had to play a man eating tiger this morning. Oh, was that man eating tiger? Yes. And he ate all my reinforcements. Well, he is like. And that. he had giant claws for eating, but then when it came to rebuilding the cave, he had tiny little claws. Tiny claws. <laughs> yeah. My claws are too small to do the labor. Yeah. Is that pretty much it? That was it. <laughs> yeah. He knows how to delegate at four. He's just like, no, you can do it. <laughs> Thanks, Angela. This is one of my favorite brushes here. The song just never ends. It has been going a while. It's not like Oh. And this is a watered down gesso in here. Oh my god, it's on four times in a row on this. Skip it. 
Okay, watch this. I'm gonna overlay some of this white in there and it'll create some really interesting patterns here. This is gonna be really cool. Okay. You can get more coffee while you're there too. Why don't you just push the button? Maybe, unless there's no water. <laughs> I'll let them run that side. There's one right here, and you've got the, the splitter down at the bottom. Oh. Underneath where the lamp is. Computer's almost dead. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. But... Well, no, this cork long enough. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take a little bit through here. I'm not real thrilled with this section, but I can actually start scraping through a few things and creating some nice effects by scraping through the different layers. Let's come up here. There's a little something up in this section. Hey guys, if you could share some parts with us today, it'd be really, really great. It helps our video get pushed out. Into the into the spheres of things. The four U pages. Just using the blade edge. Moving that around, scraping through layers, and creating some additional depth. Whew, that's nice. I like that. Just out of my way. Yeah. Wow. And, and you get to the stage like this. That you have to go, hmm, <laughs> and kind of look at it a little bit and make some decisions based on what you're observing. And those are good times to kind of pause and take stock of what's happening. And you can go back in and play with it some more. Which is what we're going to do now. Using my chalk, I'm going to find some areas a little bit. Got a question about board warpage. Yes, good question. What's the question? Does all of that water you're using warp the board? Yes, it might. Um, some some warp worse than others. You're going to find that certain plywoods, particularly the thicker ones, could just go. And I would show you there's one in here that we brought all the way from Michigan and removed, and it's awful. It's just terrible. Um, but then you have others like this that the local guy calls monkey. And it works really well. It doesn't really warp that much. And what little it does can easily be, um, uh, what is it called, uh, corrected when you frame it, okay? And one thing that would help eliminate the need or the, the, the problem of warpage is actually when, uh, if you mounted this first on a backing board, okay? Like uh, some one and a half, one by twos, one by twos they call them, uh, framing pieces, and that'll take care of a lot of that working. But because of storage, I go flat, and yeah, they'll cup a little bit, but I have hundreds of them that are, are not bad, easily solved when they are framed. Did you get that? Yeah. How long <laughs> does it take for you to complete a painting? Well, you know, that's I, I knew someone was going to ask that today, and that's a valid question. So the answer is, it could take uh, a few hours or it could take months or years even to, to come back to it and to say, yeah, this is working, this isn't working, and so forth. Um, so it's hard to put a finger on it because sometimes they work. I'm working improvisationally. So it's kind of like doing a, 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 you know, a music improv or something. It doesn't always work. Sometimes the solo doesn't quite kick in the way it's supposed to. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of my answer is, it, it depends, you know. There's times that I've done a complete, complete piece during these live shows, and then other times we sign off and I just keep working on it because it's not done. You know, I can look at it and go, yeah, it's not feeling it. And then other times Kristen says, "That's done. Step away from it. 
<laughs> Where's the painting now? <laughs> so there is that aspect too. Yeah, we wish we had an overhead camera too. Actually, the overhead camera is currently running YouTube over there. Yeah. So that's one of the things we're trying to do is to get more equipment, better lighting, overhead camera, picture in picture things that requires money. And we've been doing this out of our pocket for 18 months and just little by little adding little bits. So feel free to donate some money. Just a second. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we love doing it. We love sharing with everybody here and, and, and showing you what, what we do. So now I kind of like what's going on. I'm hesitant to do my original plan, which was to do a really bold black, you know? But maybe I'll still do it. What do you think, Kristen? Go for it. Go for it. Do it. Do it. Do but it. I am an agent of chaos, so. You are a little bit. Too yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's a big, bold line right there didn't really travel very well because it's so wet. So I might I might define that later using my inks my, or my uh, acrylic markers. It might come in and I might define it better than, at that point. But uh, it's going to blend here and create some nice softness. And I've got this kind of spiral look from the other. And it looks like it disappears. So it's a little bolder here and then it comes over here and it's getting a little less bold and starting to blend. And I think that's really cool. That is some cool stuff. We can also do a little bit with the blade here, just to find a little bit. Welcome everybody just joining us. I always know when the Southern Hemisphere is waking up. Yeah, do you? Yeah, when we're doing this. Or going to sleep, or I don't know, there's a time of the day when everybody from the Southern Hemisphere come. Okay, so again, using that blade edge of the big palette knife, and creating some interesting structure here, almost like grass. And I'm gonna go ahead and plant some grass here down in the corner. I can move the paint backwards, forwards, bringing the colors up through. It's like a little grass forest right here. I'm gonna move the cameras a little bit so that Jess just stays out. Uh-oh. You're out, don't worry, okay. You know, I'm not that camera shy, really. You shouldn't be, since you're an actor. I'm literally an actor, but <laughs> I don't want a mixed medium. <laughs> Is that an art joke? Yeah. Sure. They Yay. Play. Everything's funny here. <laughs> I thought it I'd lost you a Lego land. Though, doing that. What? Yeah. I thought I'd lost you a Lego land. I thought. Between I was watching them. They're so cute. <laughs> so what are you using right now, David? Paint stick. This is a, um, a, it's a tempera paint stick, and you can find these in various locations, uh, in various stores. This one actually came from Michaels. I have no sponsorship with Michaels, but if they decide they want to, they can. But the point being is that this is um, really fun for making bold marks on the piece. Really, really. I like the white one a lot too, truthfully, because it's kind of a blender. But the problem is I, I burn through it so fast I don't really have any left half the time. <laughs> and if you don't like it, scrape it off. You know, sometimes you do a piece and you don't like a spot, you can go back in and scrape it. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes I'll use the edge of the plastic too to kind of gouge through as I'm going. Adding some color, but also gouging through it. Be careful if you're using a canvas in that technique, everybody. Yeah, you can cut the canvas. And that's one of the reasons I like the board so much, because, because the board is really um, resilient to my really aggressive painting techniques. We've just had a lot of fun here today. I think I need to add just a little bit more color right here. Some lovely pink. I'm going to wipe some of that off so I don't transfer it into the next spot. And a little more pink somewhere. Oh, can I have, yeah, hold on. Can you see one of those paint sticks? Oh, sure, here. And I'll give you one that's clean. Ooh, it's yellow. It's not gooped up for you, babe. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Go focus. So hard to get these things to focus. 
Now, uh, you can get smaller ones from, um, from all kinds. Uh, there's a lot of different brands. Sergeant Art is one of my favorite brands to buy from just because I like the fact that they do a lot. Of Sorry, space. guys, my phone camera is going bad. It is called Craft Smart Tempera Paint Stick. And again, this is this is just what's um, this is the particular brand name that you would get at Michaels. But there's, we've used several brands. They all so pretty many. much. The they're same. they're about the same, all of them. In Pretty fact, sure one person's making them and then wiping them. One one person, <laughs> one guy, one little guy in a hut somewhere. <laughs> Bent over his chalk and pigment. Pigment and chalk and yeah, you can out that living. Rep oh, that's a funny one too. I can't say it out loud, but it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, another fun name. <laughs> I like that pink. I like the pink. I just I like that reference to the kind of fleshy tone, the warm colors. I'm gonna try this. Person had a theory. Aha! Thank you. Here we go. Did someone give you? Yeah, you put your hand up behind it, and then it flickers. Nice. I used to do that automatically. I don't know why I don't do that anymore. Thank you, whoever that was. Appreciate it. That was lucky, Nicole. Number it's three. Community learning. That's what we do here. Yeah, that's nice. So sometimes I'll have a little ladder here and I'll climb up on it so I can see down into this a little better too. But I don't have a ladder handy at the moment. Part of why I don't nap when I come in because I don't want to scare them off the perch. <laughs> well, you don't want to wake me up from a nap either. I know that. There's no napping chair in here yet. Every time she walks in the studio, <laughs> I'm sitting in the rocking chair. Every time. <laughs> it's become a running joke lately. I'm like, no, I'm posting right now. Uh huh. I was working really. Uh huh. Uh, here we go. Welcome, Renee. I'm gonna take this over here. Hi, D. Flores. I think a Lego ninja just bit just bit it. Well, some Lego ninjas gone. <laughs> we're listening. We can. We're on, we have a monitor, and we're listening to the kids play in the other building. I'm glad nobody ever filmed me while I was babysitting, just eating Tostitos frozen pizzas, and like <laughs> putting the kids in front of the TV. <laughs> That happened. I mean, I was done babysitter. I knew CPR and all that. The last day I babysat, I had to call the police. Oh my Jeez. goodness! I lost them on a bike ride. Oh wow! Oh, what? <laughs> this is not something I want to hear now. This is something I don't know. <laughs> it's the last time. I was the living nanny, and I lost them. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> did they? Did they turn up? Yeah! 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 <laughs> They were fine. You just never know what you get on our show, do you? And That's I was what's like, fun. I should probably never have kids. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you have two. Speaking of which one of them is calling me. Which, which one? Well, was? obviously not. He was like <laughs> four. Did you go get his? <laughs> his well, he has a watch that he can call us. Oh. I was like, what did he, did he find his watch? No, it's actually dead. And I can't help, I, I've been asked about the black lines, and I, and I like the black lines because it reminds me of my early cartoon comic days and not, not making them, but, you know, just being uh, connected with that era, that child kind of fantasy um, exploration of, of life and the superheroes and thinking about that as a, as a young person, kind of wanting to be that superhero in some way or another. Of course, you get the realization when you get older that you're not a superhero. There's chit chat going on over there about something. Okay, so we've got this laid in now. Um, and now I'm going to do a little something over here on this one. This. Okay, I have to log off of TikTok, guys. I have a child emergency. Oh, okay. Should we get off the phone in general? No, I just gotta. Bye, TikTok. Sorry, the messages call me immediately. So ah. I'm going to call you, her. Oh my call. God, please call me back immediately. Would you Would you like to um, let's sign out, I guess. Okay, we're gonna sign out for now, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned. I will show you details of this coming up. 
really appreciate you all. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye. What is going on? Did you just call me and